Well, this ought to be unexpected. Fidel Dungeon Rescue. A game where you play as a little dog. It's also a puzzle game. Uh, recommended by Jonathan Blow, which is the same reason why I played uh, Steven's Sausage Roll last year, which turned out to be quite worth it. I believe... Looks like I'm already playing. Okay. Oh... I'm drawing a line. Speaking of games made by Jonathan Blow, I am drawing a line. And you can't cross your line, it would appear. Hey, we got... Oh. I mean, that's just not very nice. And they look identical. Brutal. So that one's a mimic, and it hurts you. And poor little puppy gets damaged. Oh, That's just not very nice. That gives us a potion. Which is mapped to X. If I get hurt, I can... Heal with the potion. Okay. So, mimics do two damage. Potions heal you for one. Might as well just take you and leave, though. What does A do? Oh, A when you enter. There we go. I assume that heals you or something? Spiders deal one damage, two for two, and you're down and out of hearts, and three... You kill your poor, adorable little corgi friend. Oh, Experts uh, make at least 30 experience per level. Interesting. What's going on here? Does this ha Do you have to solve a little room every time you die, I wonder? Hey, three experience. That'll hurt me. I mean, that's a little experience, I suppose. Do I enter the next room damaged? I do not. Other side is locked up. Oh, you need 15 experience to continue, apparently. So that does two damage to me. Let's try healing, then. So these fully heal you, then. Now we know. Okay. The spiders do one damage each. These guys do two damage each. There's only a certain distribution of, of uh, healing points. That spider has a crown, so it's probably... It's probably worth bonus experience on some level. That ought to be curious. But I need to clear a path to it that it gives me access to healing items along the way, hopefully. Let's try these two. This will be- yeah, this will be an issue. I'm trying to clear a path that allows me to get everything I want to, right? But I need, I need to be careful not to cut myself off from certain spiders because it'll, it'll disallow me to get access to healing points. Let's try going this way. That takes me down to zero. Then we heal back up. Grab these two. That could be an issue. What if I heal, then loop back around a little bit? That gets me in trouble, though. Let's try to straight up kill myself. Just as a general rule, probably a good plan. This immediately got interesting. Partly because I'm sure it's because I'm trying to be completionist about it, as opposed to trying to just get enough to proceed, I suppose. I'm trying to be clever. And that's always a hard thing to do. Um, curious. Could technically just go straight for the heal, but that'd get me in trouble too. Okay, what does happen if I just grab you, by the way? So you're worth plus three, which is not a lot. It's just worth mo it's just more. But it cuts us off from a lot of heals. Hmm. Kind of teaching us a new way to think, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know how... Oops. Is it gonna keep coming after me, or what? I have full health. What? A dead dog can't bark. Oh, no. How does that work? Oh, tiny spiders don't hurt you. Interesting. New mechanics. That's adorable. 
Interesting, the level gets reshuffled every time you lose. Is it procedurally generating levels, or are there, is there a giant pool of levels? What happens if I hit one of these guys? You die. Use A to switch gates. I don't know what to do with the ghost situation. It seems like you just lose at that point. And there's nothing else to be done about it. So these guys just kill you? Can you sneak up on them or anything? Interesting. Can you sneak attack them from any direction? You can. But then the other one wakes up. These are tutorial rooms that teach me how to play the game, I suppose. Decent design idea. Now I'm damaged. Not a good spot to be in. That gets me in a bad spot, yeah. What do you even do in that situation? Just try to go around a lot? I guess you could like rap- if you make the mistake of dying, you could like rapidly solve the rest of the level. I suppose that's the implication. Okay. But I think that- I think if you make the mistake of dying, you then have to rapidly solve the level very quickly or you'll lose. I don't- I, I keep looking at the ghost thing as a problem I'm supposed to solve, but I think it just- I think that's just a failure state where you can just race and that's your only solution. Okay. Sure. That's an awkwardly placed healing item over here, by the way. Oh, I made them all face me. That's interesting. I wonder if that's abusable. Doesn't matter in this case, because I'm already facing this way. Ooh, the tail. Your tail's facing me. They don't take damage. You don't, you don't take damage when their tail's facing you. That's interesting. That's abusable. Okay, so I can do- I can go down both these, for example. Um... I guess I'd have to grab this at that point, wouldn't I? A lot of them are going down back to back. These three spiders are a trap, aren't they? I made it poop spider goop. Gross. That's adorable that you can do that. <laughs> Only specific ones shit themselves, apparently. Okay, so... It, they're a trap. If you attack three of them in a corner, you'll be trapped in a corner and you won't be able to leave without killing yourself. Which I don't make a habit of wanting to do, generally. I mean, that's my escape if I want to settle for that. But they recommend getting the 30. If you want to be, you know, like, super mega pro badass about it. Let's look into better plan- uh, better approaches. That's a problem. I can go in here and get the heal, but then I get stuck. But if I go through the tails... Best I can do. Ooh. So if I if I bark here, it turns around, but then this guy faces the wrong way, and then I get stuck. Which doesn't necessarily matter. If I can do this, then heal. Oops. Twenty-one experience. It's something. And that little thing in the back makes me think the ghost is gonna come murder me for taking too long. Let's just accept a success for once. And let's not be overly elitist about our own progress, I suppose. We have a coin, we have... What was that? Oh, it these are these are death spikes, I assume. You step on them and you get stabbed, so... This flips them so you're safe. We have to draw a line to it, which can be... Iffy. Let's see. That's a start. Just keep eating it. Just take damage, attack, take damage, attack. It's one approach, I suppose. If I go this way, I can go around here. 
through this. I don't know what this guy wants. I just blew him up. Oh, he just seems damaged, poor guy. Hmm. I can go to take out two of you, grab this heal, grab two more of you, and then escape. This is pleasant. The art design and audio generally is just like a really nice experience. Let's see. The spider crowns are always worth, worth more. These piranha plants are a new enemy. Let's see, are you, are you a weak spot? That's what I thought. So you, you take out both of- Oh no, I killed myself. Well. That's what I get. My bad. Alright, well, we learned about the flower creatures though, which is that you weaken both of their spots, and then you t attack the main pod for the full experience. Uh, I... Moved a little fast and totally screwed up. Oh, we're in the same room from the other side now. I wonder what my ultimate goal is. Is it just to get more enough experience to move forward or something? Curious. Trying to plan a route that allows me, allows me to tackle the weak spots. It's a lot of, actually a little harder than you'd, you'd hope. That's not gonna be doable. Not really. Could take this approach though. Walk straight through. Eh, it's a start. Does the potion come with me? It does. Okay, so we're back in this room. So I must have to get enough, enough experience to level up in order to continue past the current pool of levels then. These are like the starter levels, I think. A lot of constant dog harm happening in this game. I feel like I should be worried about that guy. Mr. Gnome. But can I take out both of these, then loop around, heal, grab the other switch, heal? That traps me. Music's getting good. Remind- Some of the- Some of the sound design's actually trying to rem uh, start to remind me of, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Actually, the visuals do, too. A lot of the game does. Interesting. Go for them weak spots when we can. Oh, you kind of trapped me here. If I want the full... He I can go for the heal. Oh, that's bad. But you destroy it if you go this way. Ooh, why? What does Y do? That just straight up explodes my surroundings. I guess that's my payoff for picking up something like that. Oh, you build up coin. Oh, let's find out what the last one is then. Last one is B. I don't know what B does. Is it just a heal? Maybe it's a full heal? It is, okay. So you get coins and that charges up your three item slots. The first one gives you a single heart heal. The second one gives you an exp uh, a bomb that destroys everyone nearby. The third one gives you a full heal. Okay. That gives you options along the way for sure. 
Okay. Other question. Do I get a full... Do I get experience for this? You do. You get the ex you get the experience for the kills, apparently. And... Oh, no, I was already damaged. The bomb doesn't damage you. Oh, I've taken too long. Oh, I can't go in for the kill. I screwed that up pretty badly. Okay, I, need, I just need to go for it, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna lose. I may need to go for it and just accept this before I get into some more trouble. Yep, we're getting out of here. Bye-bye. Boss fight, maybe? You seem to require 15. What do you do? You're guarding it, apparently. Look at these little slime nightmares. So one damage is normal. In this techno dance land. Does he go after me for having killed enough babies? Interesting. Oh! Periodic nightmare laser comes out. Okay. Informative. Hey, I leveled up. Three hearts. That's important. And the healing thing always heals you for full. Okay. I'm going to go around... Good source of experience along the way, I suppose. How do I hurt that guy, though? Does it just get enough experience and it'll go away? He does. He just goes away. Okay. I think I may have just beaten the first boss? Granny? Am I saving Granny for Mecha Dog? Oh. Uh. Oh no. Is this where the darkness happens? Look at this. I think I, I might be- I think I'm supposed to step on the button can, to continue, but the d mecha dog matches my att uh, movements and my attack the, the granny. Snatched. Oh. Okay, not attacked at least though, just taken. I thought it was- <laughs> I kind of thought something more gruesome might happen. Mecha spiders? What? Okay, what do buttons do? The buttons toggle every single platform that's up or down. Ha having significant uh, implications for your ability to walk around from there on out. Those hurt you for two. Oh, they're gonna damage me soon. Oh, there's no heals on this entire floor. That's problematic. Bye. Gotta escape before that happens. Okay. That must be the big one that's worth two? Yep. Okay, know that much now. What's the lightning heal do? That's curious. It kills you? Oh, it's a fake... Oh. It's a fake trap, uh, heal, apparently. That's not very nice. I want to suck on dog. Oh. Okay, they're surprisingly easy to kill. Is there a trick to them otherwise? Alright, try this again. Oh, I'm unleveled. Poor little Fidel's down only having two hearts. I'm gonna have to stop dying. I know, right? Weird habit to have to kick. Oh, I didn't get the triple this time. Pain. 
Life is pain. Middle thing doesn't move. What? Does hitting triple spiders make the big ones fall over? That raises all new questions of how I could potentially approach these characters. Okay. So, triple would be like one, two, three. KO. Interesting. 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 Triple spiders is a, is a known strat. <laughs> Interesting. Very usable. Okay. This place again. Oh, am I back at the beginning of the entire game? I didn't even occur to me. Is this a roguelike puzzle game? Interesting. Okay. Why did I make that mistake? Why did I do that? Why did I do that to myself? That was a stupid move. And now I died in this level. <laughs> it did not fully occur to me that you'd start over each attempt. Interesting. Okay. So if I want to, so I should be less completionist about this and probably just try to do what I can to win. Why? Did, how did I get that stupid? My brain needs to be less stupid now. Okay, these are the guys you can sneak up on. Does killing things nearby does not wake them up? That wakes them up. But the other one didn't? They were too far off though at that point. Okay. Oh, friendly chest, unexpected. Why did I do that? Ah. Oh. I need to get my goddamn brain straight. You're a real treasure. How much you worth? Ooh, five. That's not bad. Ideally, I would go after you first, though, because you're sleeping. And you. In fact, I could kind of just go around the map, but that would cause me to get trapped in the long run. And then we die. Let's see here. Trying to be vaguely decent with this stuff. Does it does it even have to be on a, a triple on spiders or can it be triple on anything? That wasn't really a spider. That's a decent floor. This one again. Not going anywhere with that. Hard to grab the coin while also doing this. Oh well. At least a path that gets to a lot of experience along the way. Alright, let's be very cautious and not do stupid moves that get me killed anymore. Because I've died too much when I really shouldn't be. The 
If I loop around, I'll just get trapped, so it's not going to go anywhere. Could grab these two, then this. Middle one doesn't go anywhere. It's an option. It's tempting just to blow them straight up. Like this! Ooh, leveling up actually gives you your health back too. Probably gonna have to settle for that. Yeah. Back on alien floor. Now I know what's at stake, but hey, I'm a higher level than I was last time. So there's that. That was a mistake. Unless I want to go back around. Ooh, close one. There we go. Getting as high as level as I can. Okay. Lady's been kidnapped. No, not old lady. Yeah, this is where levels got really weird. Like, weird, weird. Weirdy McWeirdington weird. Ideally, I would just grab as many of these as I can, and then escape with minimal damage along the way. There we go. Bit of experience, all the money, not touching those nightmare things that hurt me more. What do we have here? There's heals. We now know that that thing will murder me, so that sucks. That wasn't very nice at all. Let's see, I escapes right there, so like the game's letting me move forward if I want to. It just matter it just comes down to how much I want to grab along the way. This will get me in trouble. One, two, three, press button. Yeah, pressing the button will get me trapped. And I won't be able to go over to the other health kit. Probably want to back off to earlier. So you hurt me for two exactly. Oh, weird. Does my trail make it not change positions? I think it does. Interesting. I'll settle for that for now. Okay. These are getting complicated. Level four. That means I can hit larger streaks of them in once. Ma relatively major progress there. That's all I can do though. I've trapped myself so I can't go up there anymore. I think I'll settle for that though. We'll see if I get progressively better over time because I've, I've realized... I didn't realize going into this this was a roguelike. A roguelite. I didn't know it had permadeath. 